Missouri could soon limit the restrictions local health departments put in COVID-19 health orders. A pre-filed measure that would prevent local governments from issuing health or safety closures to businesses for no more than 45 days. Local leaders would have to get approval from the state in order to extend any closure beyond those 45 days. ABC 17's Victoria Bragg is live at the Columbia Boone County Health Department after checking in with a Boone County Commissioner. Victoria, uh, she outlined how this proposal could affect Boone County. Deb Lucas, yes, it is concerning to Commissioner Janet Thompson as it limits the local autonomy that county health departments currently have. State Senator Andrew Koenig from the St. Louis area pre-filed the bill to limit health order durations. Any health order extension would need approval from the state health department and state legislators. State Representative Jim Murphy sponsored a version of that bill to the House yesterday. If passed, when the General Assembly convenes next month and signed by the governor, it could go into effect quickly. Unfortunately, uh, the, the approach that our state legislature has been taking in a lot of instances and, and just um, eviscerating the whole concept of local control. Thompson explained that this bill would put Governor Parson in a tough seat because he has believed in local control during the pandemic. As he's taken the stance, the very public stance of, you know, when he says the reason he's not imposing a statewide uh, mask order is because he wants to leave it to what? Local control. He wants to leave local local officials, local data to guide what happens in each county. And he's he's been very public about that. And this is, uh, this is something that's going to put, again, the governor in a very awkward position because it's his party that's pushing this kind of, um, of, of bill. You can find more information about that bill on our website. Reporting live in Columbia, I'm Victoria Bragg, ABC 17 News. Thanks, Victoria. You can find more about the impact of COVID-19 here in Missouri, including some new death tolls for a pair of our counties. That's in our daily blog posted on abc17news.com.